average person on the streets in Kano. Kano State doesn't know Peter Obi, according to a northern and co-founder of a Wikipedia Hausa. He tweeted about this to let people know what is wrong in the north. He said, I recently asked an unidentified man on the streets in Kano who Peter Obi is, and he responded, the Yoruba leader. He soon changed when he heard me laughing and replied, oh, I do remember he plays football beyond being angry and supportive on Twitter. You guys have enough work to do. <laughs> you see, they have started uh, encouraging Peter Obi, these are the things you need to do and all of that. A Yoruba man. Yes, we heard about when uh, you know that uh, somebody was talking about uh, oh, he's a footballer and what have you. Just ask a random guy in Kano Street who Peter is. He say, oh, he's a Yoruba leader. <laughs> he's, uh, all, all those things. Even, even some people you even <laughs> don't be surprised when you ask some people say in Igbo land that uh, who is Peter B. They'll begin to give you some kind of funny response. Don't be surprised as well. Don't be surprised. I could remember one interview. I saw or one I saw one video on on, on YouTube. I think uh, that was uh, the time uh, during the election period in the US. I saw one video when they were uh, asking some people, well, whether it was just a random video or something, they were asking some American about Sharia. You know, they were just like, ah, they would love Sharia to, you know, to come to the US, this and this and that. Sharia, Sharia, let, them, let it come. Let them bring Sharia to the United States. Hey, the person that was interviewed was just like, what? Like, seriously? I know maybe some of you must have seen that video. And you begin to like really a lot of people in the u.s that you think a lot of them are illiterate a lot of them don't even know what is happening because they believe that they know too much or because they believe that a life starts from u.s and ends in u.s that is the majority the mindset of majority of people in the u.s so they don't even know what is happening even when you ask a, a white man he will be telling you africa africa are you from africa you know they don't even know that africa majority of them don't know that africa is a continent they will just say Africa. So then when I see people, even some black people will never say, hey, I'm uh, coming from Africa. Which one? I don't, you are from Nigeria. Even me, I'm looking at you. The person you know that you are a black person, you are from Africa. Where are you from in Africa? That's what we are talking about. Africa is a continent. You can't just say, see any black person, say, okay, this person is from Africa. So you are from Africa. So they, they think Africa is a country. So that is just the way it is. Like I say, you ask somebody, even in on each other, they say, who is Obi? The kind of answer you are going to get, you'll be surprised, you'll be shocked to your bone marrow. So, it's a good thing that uh, these people today know that hmm, it is time for a somebody who, who, this is not by tribe. This person is just stylishly advising Obi and his supporters that you guys have a lot of work to do. Nobody's even talking about a, a Obi uh, is an Igbo man. No, that's not for people who are learned, for people who are objective, so, for, so, for people who are open-minded. They will just see things, the parameters, and say, this is what we're going to work with. You can't go and have a non-entity because the person is from your tri tribe. Then you have to support the person. Aha! You are playing a, a, a dangerous game if you do that. So they have a lot of work, which they already know. And some people are volunteering. And the, way, the more people are volunteering to work for Peter B to go to the north, they will begin to look for uh, loopholes. They know that. But the ones that are... Who have confidence that they will win? What are they confident about? The structures they're talking about. It is the money. They have the money readily available for them to share in every nook and cranny of this country. They have it. So that is the structure they are talking about. So I think the, that point should be noted. There's a real work for Peter B's followers to do in terms of raising more awareness for Peter B in the northern region because. As we all know, policies is a game of numbers, and the bulk of voters are from the northern section of Nigeria. So increase awareness of Peter Obi's bid for the presidency. His supporters should knock on doors in every local government. Yeah, that's a good one. That is a good advice. Of course, there's a lot of work to do, and it will be done. But the main reason why an average person in North does not recognize uh, some public figures in Nigeria is because most of them are educated or are not educated. Yes, they are not educated. They hardly read or listen to radio. But they tell you that uh, 
the number one thing they always have okay maybe they, they hear i would say they don't even hear, listen to that uh, they don't listen in english because one of the weapons they always use they tell us they use it as ah, almost everybody has a radio maybe they don't listen to other things maybe of course you can have a phone and it depends on what you use the phone for so that's another thing do you know i also asked a lagos man who atiku abubaka was he said was he part of the people that keep people you know oh. <laughs> My goodness, ah, you are talking of a uh, article in Lagos. I say, if you will be said, we go ask somebody from Monica who will be the kind of answer where you go get there, you will be surprised. <laughs> oh, liar, only a man living under a rock that does not know Atiku in Nigeria. He has been a political colossus in Nigeria for over 30 years. Hmm. Okay, only a man living under the stone that doesn't know Obitu. <laughs> Oh, Peter Obi is wasting his time. Good and fine. Tinubu is not going to win either. <laughs> yes, now. Somebody say, they will not say, oh, Peter Obi says supporters are always abusive. You tell them what they will, that what will pain them. You not think they will not be, they will not be uh, doing a, yeah, yeah, okay. Or you want them to be crying. No, no, they will give it back to you. When they give it back to you, they will come prepare you. You know, like a Yoruba will say, ti, e shi shimba nje ilegbo, ilegbo. Oh, because I need to marry you, but tell you about why JCC did not say, Oh, what did that you? Invariably, you know, when somebody has a sore, if you have sore or wound on your leg or your hand or any part of your body, you know that all those are dirty, whatever, all those things, those are the things that the devil, the flies, all those flies, they want to perch on it. So if you have a wound and a, and a fly wants to perch on that, this thing, you know, it's painful. You can't, be, you can't just leave it. So the, nobody will see that uh, that flies want to perch on that uh, womb wound but as soon as you want to use your hand to do it ah, you're too dirty ah, you're so too dirty you're dirty hey i'm dirty so i mean i leave i make the flies just the perch make her see because they pay me uh -huh. so that's just what it means now you are uh, uh, try to throw jab at somebody when the person now throws it back to you you now flare up it is your voice they will not be hearing but nobody will not hear we hear what you did that uh, made that person to reply you in that manner. So it is always like that. They will always say, ah, you are abusive, they are, they are abusive. You to respect yourself. See, eh? What did I see notice about this ego is that <laughs> once uh, somebody just says something that suits them, even if you don't cause them, see, so you can't tell, say, ah, this and that. Ah, all of them will just come. Ah, you are my brother. God bless you. I will say, sure, these people, they are something else. So you don't even know whether the person means it or not. But in as much the person just praises you for that time you don't even you have forgotten all the abuses the person has rendered before but the person just say, says one thing that suits you suits you like this say oh they will just start to the pray, uh, praise you and that is human nature no no ma nobody unless unless devil nobody you are going to praise that the person will not say you know the person will be hungry and that's why you see that uh, all these musicians eh, if you go to party, if you know, if you see musicians who know how to play, who know how to perform very well, in fact, eh, if you say you don't get money, forget they go, all your money. Go finish. You go go borrow money to spray them, because uh, there's nobody that they will praise that their hair no go swell up. So it is always like that. If you respect them, they will respect you. That is that is it. So they have a lot of work to do. They really have a lot of work to do. We know. So guys, let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you.